Okay, so uh, this is a, a one take, another one take uh, little uh, video clip. It's called Remember to Remember, not just the 5th of November. It's about things which are troubling me at the moment, which are on my mind. And uh, I think we need to, to go over it. So just bear with me and uh, let's begin. Okay, it works. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, this is London. And uh, this was the uh, population of London in 1961, which was uh, not long before I was born. Okay. Um, you can see that London was a bit quite a mono culture, which is fine. Yeah. Full of cockneys, etc. Yeah. Ten years on. And it's still the same. Okay. And it's not a problem because I remember 1971 and it was all that glam rock stuff and lots of stuff was going down. And uh, it was, you know, it was, you know, there was a lot of um, uh, 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 the Windrush generation, if you like, was still, you know, you got the uh, various uh, sort of uh, months where you have to spend the whole month, yeah for one of these social political ideologies, a whole month. Think about that, a whole month um, to ponder on these things where we, well, I'm, I'm gonna, I will cover this in another video, I, I, I promise. I don't like making this promise because it is quite hard work for me to do this stuff. And I explain to you the usurpation, if you like. But this stuff about, you know, I mean, who, who remembers Margaret Thatcher and is it chapter 28 or something very concerned about teaching uh, homosexuality in schools etc now it's gone full blown and they haven't had a whole month of um, a whole month of um, consideration for these issues and uh, corporations have totally embraced it etc and it's almost turned quite fascist in a way you know, you're not allowed to have an alternative view okay uh, I'm quite neutral, to be honest, on, on, on those elements. I just don't like the idea that people, you know, it's a bit like smoking. I don't smoke sort of cigarettes on a regular basis, but I'm not going to be, you know, my opinion of somebody's character is not going to be based simply on the fact that they smoke, as long as they're not blowing it in my face. Yeah? Okay? That That's fine by me. Okay? Now, now we see. Now it gets a bit problematic. It does get problematic because with the influx of people from overseas who aren't, say, from the British Empire, who do not have a love or respect of um, British values, and then you've got these social political sort of interest groups merging with this okay and attacking and there was a big an attack on uh, say uh, britain and, and and its colonies and, and the whole role of britain and this empire it's issues about that which i will get into another video okay but it it, it, it this is scaring me i'm going to be honest this is scaring me and it's scaring me for a couple of reasons okay and i'll go into it Okay. Um, on on the question of uh, Israel and Palestine, I am surprisingly neutral. I grew up with a lot of Jewish people. I like Jewish people. I like Jewish culture. They're nice. I like. Uh, I support. Well, not support. I I empathise with Palestine about how they've been nudged out and how they've been treated, and you know it is not right and jarring. And solutions need to be made, and proper international pressure should be made. That much I could say. What Hamas were doing, that is beyond me. It was clear. You can't, yeah, if they went in there and they were just shooting just soldiers, etc., fine. And we would expect a tally, a retaliation. But what they were doing to civilians and, and, and the vulnerable, you have to ask yourself, what, Cubono, yeah, Cubono, yeah. Who benefits from this? 
you know, they know that there will be retaliation based on what they've done. So knowing that, why is it they did that? What is what what is Cubono? Who benefits from Israeli reaction to the atrocities which have been committed? Yeah, and this is what the media isn't really getting into, to be honest. Yeah, they're not talking about what was the purpose of the Hamas attacks because there's no way the Hamas was going to win. Okay, so they knew that there would be retaliation. Why did they want? Israel to respond the way in which they're doing, who's benefiting from that, okay? But these demonstrations have been very strong and very uh, vigorous, uh, very well organised, considering, okay? I was going to show you one of my magical charts. Um, I should have put that into my in the mix, really, uh, because um, if you look at the chart patterns, you can see that there was anticipation of... Uh, catastrophe a few days before the actual event okay the markets had actually uh fed it in to their positions okay uh but we see these uh demonstrations and uh, it is concerning me and it's concerning me for a very simple reason because you know we have this situation where we have black history month which is fine no it's not fine to be honest but likewise with uh, Pride month. You don't need a whole month to talk about one particular situation subject. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. Okay, this concerns me. You see, for all, for all the um, hullabaloo, okay, the very thing what underpins the freedoms and the democracies which we have is the sacrifice from our military and it's coming up to remembrance it's coming up to remembrance sunday and you have black history month for a whole month you have uh, lbtq whatever it is for a whole month yeah the palestinians vocal etc but we as ex-servicemen are only allowed two minutes of silence that's all we have two minutes of reflection and this is under threat. This is under threat. This is the time when the nation should be coming together to honour the sacrifice of our service personnel. Okay? Uh, and it's been overly politicised now. And, you know, the sleeping mayor of London only recently says, oh, yeah, let's put some barriers around there to protect the cenotaph. Why are we having to protect the cenotaph in the first place? The fifth colonists, the people who don't like who we are as a nation, people who want to undermine the values which we fought for, come in with their own values, want to impose it on the rest of the country. And this is our day of remembrance for the people who've given up their lives, okay, for the for the country which we love, which we believe in. And that, that's that's concerning. Yeah? It's concerning. Blood has been spilt, and it's been spilt in protection of the nation. And a lot of the people who have come here into this country shouldn't even be here. Because if they don't like the place where they come from, they should do what we've done, which is to fight and put their life on the line to preserve that which it is they love. Yeah? That's the bottom line. I don't want to see this. That I don't want to see. But it's coming up to it. This I don't want to see. It's just not on. We have paid the sacrifice. We have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Our soldiers, our military have paid the ultimate sacrifice so that people like him can have his voice. Pay the ultimate sacrifice so that people like him can have their say. But even now, we're trying to cancel these people if they're not saying it the way we want it. We paid the ultimate sacrifice. War on point. Yeah? Why 91% succeed and 99% fail? Tristan Tate. Cancel culture. 
So the things what we're fighting for is actually being eroded. It's being eroded in certain areas. And that, that this, this is concerning for me. You know? This is very concerning. Why that is the case. Because we have put our lives on the line to enable and allow people to say what they want to say. No matter who they are. Whether they're left or whether they're right. Okay? We have put ourselves on the line to defend your right to say that. But we don't want it to be abused. We don't want it to be abused. We want you to love and respect the country which we have you have made your home. To worship, you know, to love our king, to, to love our values. And make changes, fine, but understand the traditions which we have. Okay? Because people have paid the price. People have paid that price to make sure to enable you to be here. So when you're talking about what it is you want to talk about, you do so in the element of comfort, in the element of no fear that people will be knocking on your door, okay, and taking you away into the night, okay? Yeah, because we have paid the price. We pay the price. So you give us our two minutes, our two minutes of silence. Because you know what? At one point, there comes a time where, yeah, people are just going to say enough is enough. What are we fighting for? What is it we're shedding our blood for? What are we trying to preserve? Yeah. So, long with friends. Give respect where respect is due. That's what I'm saying.